Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be going over the VA oscillators and wavetables in SynthMaster. This is the traditional subtractive synthesis way of going about synthesis. I'm going to uh, reset the preset here, and we have just a basic saw. So, traditionally, you would have uh, saw, sine, triangle, square, pulse, and noise, and that's what all these are right here. So, you have sine, which is single harmonic triangle, uh, square, sawtooth, pulse with uh, pulse with adjustment, our phase friend there, and noise, right? And that's generally uh, what we had, you know, in the 60s and 70s and 80s, and even today, uh, we're all clamoring to emulate those, right? So we have this right here. So another thing we can do is, uh, so I will start... Uh, yeah, I'll start with the uh, voices. So we can have, we have independent unison of each oscillator and each part. So if we have eight voices here, bam, we have eight of these stacked up. I'll just do two so you can see in here. All right, you can see there's two saws and they're stacked up and they're running in parallel. We have free, so free running oscillator. They don't start at the exact same time. When free is disabled, they're starting at the exact same phase. You can really hear that when you bump up the voices. I'll give you a listen. Right, so they all start at the same time and they kind of phase out and then they become kind of free running, which works sometimes. Uh, and that, that'd be good for like basses if you want the, the transient of the bass to have continuity at all times. You can do that, but if you want like a pad or something, you want those to be free running. So we'll click free. And uh, that's all well and good. We have uh, kind of a pitch key tracking. That's if you want um, if you want them to be in continuity with what pitch you're playing, then you want to keep it that way. Uh, and all these are uh, pitch drift, and you can have kind of analogy uh, kind of drifting of uh, of uh, the tuning, just like an analog synthesizer. That's what you're into. So we have our our controls here for each oscillator. We have volume. Obviously, tone is a is a low pass filter. If something's a little bit too sharp, you can kind of roll it off. Right, it's just another filter, uh, entirely flexible. Phase is the starting uh, where it starts, so you can adjust the phase. And for uh, pulse width, this changes uh, the pulse width as well. Right, and that's basically the phase pitch uh, and you have your semitones and uh, octaves here so it's in semitones and octaves so two octaves that's really useful uh, fine tune for you know fine tuning everything detune is for your uh, voices so if you have eight voices and you have detuned zero right, they all they're all stacked up and back to the example of free running if you if you want you know your bass to have Continuity. Let's go detune slightly here. Right. It, they all start at the same time and then they go out every time you hit a key. It's not. Right. You have just randomness. Right? So there's that. Let's go. We'll go free running again. Pan. Pans it and stereo. It's kind of a stereo. It uh, it's it uh, detunes the left and right slightly and makes it into a wider signal. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to get the unison part out of the way, so you would have more of a more of an idea of what you can do with that. You also have unison per part, so you can have eight voices on oscillator one, eight voices on oscillator two. And then you can have eight voices overall on just one layers. So you can have just an insane amount of uh, voices here. So we'll just detune then. And this will be loud. I'll turn that down again. Right, so we have 64 saws with one key.
if anyone knows what song that was, uh, let me know. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's uh, pretty neat. So another thing you can do is the, the wave tables. Now these are still traditional, still uh, subtractive, uh, kind of VA, but they are single cycle waveforms. You know how you take, so look down here. You have your saw, oops. You have your saw here, and you want to shape that, and you shape that with a filter. Right, and you can just add harmonics. You can do all sorts of fun stuff with that. And that works out well, but if you want to do something else, you want to have one of those waveforms already there, you have all of these waveforms available. And they're all really cool. And they're from like famous synths and stuff like that. And you can, you know, have them unison, you can have them modulating other things, you can just do all sorts of fun stuff. You can even have uh, something uh, like a like a, a multi sample or a multi sample a ZFC a sound font a sound font and you can go say uh, Lost in Space this is my favorite one so these are kind of like uh, sample player romplers. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, sorry, unison doesn't work for that, so we can go two voices here. I forgot to mention that the controls here uh, don't work for multi-samples, but you can still filter with these. So unison doesn't do anything here, just letting you know. So yeah, that's one of my favorite sounds, just because it sounds old school and dirty. Uh, but that is our VA oscillators and wavetables and our uh, sampler. So you have single cycle and then you have traditional um, everything here with phase and uh, all of your options here. So load up an oscilloscope and uh, give it a listen. And you can go through all of them and you can be like, oh yeah, this, that, that's how that works. And it's really useful to have uh, oscilloscopes and uh, you know uh, signal analyzers open. Uh, which are lightweight. You can get this at uh, rs-met.com. It's freeware, and it's pretty fun. All right, uh, Synthmaster. We'll be back with some more fun stuff. <laughs>